Howdy folks, Mindanao. The name conjures up images of lush landscapes, pristine beaches, and a culture as vibrant as the colors on a Vinta sail. This island, the second largest in the Philippines, is a land of immense beauty and untapped potential. It's a place where ancient traditions meet modern aspirations, where the rhythm of life beats to a different drum. But Mindanao is also a land of contrasts. While it holds the promise of paradise, it carries a reputation, often whispered, sometimes shouted, of danger and unrest. News headlines paint a bleak picture, focusing on conflict and instability. For many, Mindanao remains an enigma, a place both alluring and intimidating. And that's what brings us here today. We're going to journey beyond the headlines, past the fear and the misconceptions. We're going to dive deep into the heart of Mindanao to uncover its hidden gems and reveal the truth about this captivating island. So buckle up, folks, as we embark on an adventure to discover the real Mindanao, a land where beauty and resilience intertwine, where opportunity awaits those who dare to explore its untrodden paths. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, folks. Mindanao has faced its share of challenges. Conflict and poverty have cast a long shadow over this beautiful land. It's easy to get caught up in the negativity, to let fear dictate our perceptions. But to truly understand Mindanao, we need to look beyond the sensationalized headlines. We need to listen to the voices of the locals, the people who call this island home. They'll tell you about the warmth of their communities, the richness of their culture, and the unwavering spirit that defines them. They'll tell you about the breathtaking landscapes, from the majestic Mount Apo to the pristine beaches of Siargao. They'll share stories of their history, a tapestry woven with threads of indigenous traditions, Spanish colonialism, and Islamic influences. Mindanao is a land of complexity, where beauty and hardship coexist. It's a place where the spirit of resilience shines brightest in the face of adversity. And it's this spirit, folks, that we're going to explore today. Our journey will take us off the beaten path to places where mass tourism hasn't yet tread. We'll explore the hidden gems, the secret spots that only the locals know about. We'll meet the people who are working hard to build a brighter future for Mindanao, from entrepreneurs creating sustainable businesses to artists preserving their cultural heritage. We'll hear their stories, their struggles, and their triumphs. Most importantly, we'll discover the true meaning of resilience. We'll see how the people of Mindanao have overcome adversity time and time again, emerging stronger and more united. Their stories will inspire us, challenge us, and ultimately change the way we see the world. So, are you ready to embark on this journey with me? Are you ready to discover the real Mindanao? Then let's go folks, adventure awaits. Now before we get too far down the road, let's address the elephant in the room. Mindanao's reputation for danger ain't entirely undeserved. There are real risks here folks, things you gotta be mindful of. We're talking about areas with separatist movements, where tensions can flare up, places where banditry ain't a thing of the past. You'll hear whispers of kidnappings, extortion, even terrorism. And yeah, those whispers have some truth to them. But here's the thing, danger exists everywhere, doesn't it? It's about being smart, being informed, and not letting fear paralyze you. Mindanao ain't a place for the faint of heart, that's for sure. But for those with a thirst for adventure, a willingness to learn, and a healthy dose of caution, it can be the experience of a lifetime. Remember folks, knowledge is power. Before you even set foot on this island, do your homework. Check travel advisories, connect with local contacts, and understand the lay of the land. Now navigating Mindanao ain't like hopping on a tour bus in some tourist trap. It takes a bit of grit, a sense of adventure, and a willingness to embrace the unexpected. Public transportation can be, shall we say, character building. Roads can be rough, schedules fluid, and communication, well, let's just say it's an art form. But that's part of the charm, ain't it? It's about slowing down, soaking it all in, and appreciating the journey as much as the destination. Hiring local guides is a smart move, folks. They know the back roads, they speak the language, and they can steer you clear of trouble. Plus, you'll be supporting the local economy and getting an authentic experience. Remember, 
Respect goes a long way in Mindanao. Dress modestly, be mindful of local customs, and always ask before taking photos of people. A little sensitivity can go a long way in building bridges. Now let's talk about safety, because that's on everyone's mind. The Philippine military has a strong presence in Mindanao, working hard to maintain order and security. You'll see checkpoints, patrols, and yeah, sometimes even armed soldiers. It might seem intimidating at first, but remember, these folks are here to protect everyone, locals and visitors alike. Just be respectful, cooperate with their instructions, and you'll be on your way. In many areas, local communities have also formed their own security groups, folks, keeping an eye out for trouble and protecting their own. It's a testament to their resilience and their commitment to keeping their homes safe. Remember, safety is a two-way street. Stay aware of your surroundings, avoid flashing expensive jewelry or gadgets, and trust your gut. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't be afraid to change your plans or move to a different area. But here's the thing about Mindanao, folks, the thing that the headlines often miss. It's the people. Despite the challenges, despite the risks, the people here are some of the warmest, most welcoming folks you'll ever meet. They'll greet you with a smile, offer you a helping hand, and invite you to share a meal. Hospitality is ingrained in their culture, a way of life that transcends language barriers and cultural differences. So yeah, Mindanao has its share of dangers, but it also has a heart of gold a spirit of resilience, and a beauty that runs deeper than any headline can capture. Now, let's head south, folks, to a city that's often held up as a shining example of what Mindanao can be Davao City. This bustling metropolis, the largest in Mindanao, is a melting pot of cultures, a testament to the island's diversity. Davao's got a reputation for being safe, folks, and for good reason. They've got strict local ordinances, a no-nonsense approach to crime, and a strong sense of community. You can walk the streets here at night without feeling like you've got to watch your back every second. But Davao ain't just about safety, folks. It's a city on the rise, with a booming economy, a vibrant arts and culture scene, and a dedication to sustainability that's impressive to see. You can explore the bustling markets, sample the freshest durian you'll ever find, or escape the city bustle and hike to nearby waterfalls and nature reserves. Davao's got it all, folks, and it's just waiting to be discovered. Next stop, Cagayan de Oro, or CDO as the locals call it. This city nestled on the northern coast of Mindanao is known for its warm hospitality, its adventurous spirit, and its stunning natural beauty. CDO's got a laid-back vibe, folks, a slower pace of life that's infectious. You can stroll along the riverbanks, explore historical landmarks, or indulge in the city's burgeoning culinary scene. But don't let the relaxed atmosphere fool you folks. CDO is also a gateway to adventure. You can go whitewater rafting on the Cagayan River, trek to hidden waterfalls, or explore the caves and canyons that dot the surrounding countryside. CDO is a city that embraces both tranquility and excitement, folks. A place where you can find your own pace and create your own adventure. Now, for you thrill seekers out there, you gotta check out Siargao Island. This teardrop-shaped paradise off the eastern coast of Mindanao has become a global surfing destination, folks, and for good reason. Cloud 9, Siargao's most famous wave, is a surfer's dream, a powerful barrel that'll get your heart pumping. But Siargao ain't just for seasoned pros, folks. There are waves for all levels, from gentle rollers for beginners to challenging reefs for those who like to push their limits. But Siargao's more than just a surf spot, folks. The island is fringed with palm-fringed beaches, dotted with hidden lagoons, and home to a laid-back island vibe that'll make you want to stay forever. So, whether you're a seasoned wave rider or just looking for a slice of paradise, Siargao's calling your name, folks. Section 4, Camaguin, the island born of fire. Our final stop takes us to Camaguin, a small island province just off the northern coast of Mindanao. This island, folks, is a testament to the power of nature, a place where beauty rises from the ashes. 
You see, Camiguin is home to seven volcanoes, folks, earning it the nickname, the island born of fire. Now don't let that scare you off. These volcanoes are mostly dormant, and they've created a landscape that's as dramatic as it is beautiful. You can hike to volcanic craters, soak in hot springs, or dive into the crystal clear waters that surround the island. Camiguin's got a raw, untamed beauty that's captivating folks. A reminder that even from destruction, new life can emerge. And there you have it, folks. Just a taste of the hidden gems waiting to be discovered in Mindanao. These are just a few examples of the safe and stunning destinations that defy the headlines that showcase the true spirit of this captivating island. Section 1. The Price of Paradise. Now, let's talk Turkey, folks. One of the biggest draws of Mindanao is the cost of living. Let's be honest, in a world where the price of everything seems to be going up, 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 Mindanao offers a breath of fresh air. Compared to the bustling streets of Manila or Cebu, life here moves at a different pace, and so does your wallet. Housing, food, transportation, it all comes at a fraction of the cost. Imagine swapping cramped city apartments for spacious homes with mango trees in the backyard. Imagine trading crowded, overpriced restaurants for local markets overflowing with fresh fruits, vegetables, and seafood so cheap it makes your head spin. It's a breath of fresh air for your budget, folks, and a chance to live a richer life without breaking the bank. But it's not just about saving money, folks. It's about reclaiming something precious, time. Section 2. Stretching your peso further. In Mindanao, your peso stretches further, folks. A lot further. That means more money in your pocket for the things that truly matter. Ever dream of owning a beachfront property? Starting your own business? Spending more time with loved ones? In Mindanao, those dreams become a whole lot more attainable. You can ditch the rat race, escape the soul-crushing commute, and actually live life on your own terms. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves crashing on the shore, sipping your coffee as the sun rises over the ocean. No more traffic jams, no more overpriced coffee shops, just you and the rhythm of island life. That's the promise of Mindanao, folks. A chance to live more and spend less. It's about finding a balance between work and play, between pursuing your passions and enjoying the simple pleasures of life. Now, some folks might think that a lower cost of living means fewer opportunities. But let me tell you folks, they couldn't be more wrong. Mindanao is a land of opportunity, a place where entrepreneurship is thriving and innovation is in the air. With a lower barrier to entry, starting a business in Mindanao is within reach for many who could only dream of it elsewhere. And with a young dynamic population eager to embrace new ideas, the potential for growth is limitless. From tech startups to ecotourism ventures, from sustainable agriculture to creative industries, Mindanao is a hotbed of innovation, a place where you can turn your passions into a reality. And with a government that's increasingly supportive of small and medium enterprises, there's never been a better time to invest in Mindanao's future. But the real beauty of Mindanao's affordability isn't just about individual gain, folks. It's about the ripple effect. When people can afford to live comfortably, when they have money left over to spend on local businesses, the entire community benefits. More jobs are created, infrastructure improves, and the standard of living rises for everyone. It's about building a brighter future for Mindanao, one where prosperity is shared and everyone has the opportunity to thrive. So yeah, Mindanao might not have the glitz and glamour of some other destinations, but it offers something far more valuable, a chance to live a more authentic, more fulfilling life without being shackled to a paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck existence. It's about embracing a different pace of life, one that's rich in culture, community, and the simple pleasures that money can't buy. Now let's mosey on over to the western edge of Mindanao, folks, to a city where history comes alive, Zamboanga City. This ain't your typical tourist trap, no sir. Zamboanga, or Zambo, as the locals affectionately call it, is a place that embraces its past, warts and all, and wears its heart on its sleeve. You see, Zamboanga's got a rich and sometimes tumultuous history. It's been a crossroads of cultures for centuries, a melting pot of indigenous traditions, Spanish colonial influence, and Islamic heritage. 
And that mix, folks, is what gives Zamboanga its unique flavor, its vibrant energy, and its undeniable charm. Now, I ain't gonna lie, Zamboanga has had its share of challenges in recent years. But through it all, the spirit of the Zamboanguinos, the people of Zamboanga, has never wavered. They're a resilient bunch, folks, with a warmth and hospitality that's as genuine as it comes. They'll welcome you with open arms, share their stories, and introduce you to a world of flavors, colors, and traditions that'll leave you breathless. From the historical streets of Zamboanga, let's head south to a city making a name for itself, General Santos City, or Gensan. This ain't your sleepy seaside town, folks. Gensan is a city on the move, known as the tuna capital of the Philippines. The fishing industry is booming, fueling economic growth, but Gensan's got more to offer than just seafood. A vibrant arts and culture scene and youthful energy. Hometown of Manny Pacquiao, the legendary boxer. His story is an inspiration to Gensan. Gensan is a city punching above its weight, a place where dreams are made and anything seems possible. For a journey into the heart of nature, look no further than Lake Cebu. Nestled high in the mountains of South Cotabato, this ain't your typical tourist trap. Lake Cebu is where time stands still, dictated by nature's rhythms. Wake up to birdsong, mist rising off the lake, fresh and cool air. Reconnect with yourself, breathe deep, and let tranquility wash over you. Home to the Taboli people with a rich cultural heritage. Take a boat ride, visit a village, and witness their traditions. Lake Cebu, where nature inspires the soul and culture enriches the spirit. Well, folks, our journey through Mindanao has taken us from bustling cities to tranquil lakes, from ancient traditions to modern aspirations. We've seen the challenges, we've witnessed the resilience, and we've experienced the warmth and hospitality that defines this remarkable island. Mindanao ain't perfect, no place is, but beneath the surface, beneath the headlines, there's a heart of gold beating strong. It's a land of immense potential, a place where change is happening and the future is being written. But that future, folks, it ain't something that's just handed out. It's earned, it's fought for, it's built brick by brick, dream by dream. And it's a future that we can all be a part of, if we're willing to open our minds, our hearts, and yes, even our wallets. Investing in Mindanao ain't just about economic gain, folks. It's about investing in people, in communities, in a shared destiny. It's about believing in the power of possibility, the power of hope, the power of a place called Mindanao. So, there you have it, folks. Mindanao, a land of breathtaking beauty and undeniable challenges. We've journeyed from bustling cities to tranquil countryside, two narratives often whispered in the same breath. One speaks of conflict, of danger. The other tells of resilience and community. Truth isn't always black and white. Mindanao is a tapestry of light and shadow, and that's the beauty of it. Now, I ain't gonna stand here and tell you Mindanao's for everyone. It ain't. This ain't no packaged vacation, folks. This is a journey that demands courage, curiosity, and a willingness to embrace the unexpected. It's a journey for those who seek authenticity over convenience, who crave adventure over predictability, who yearn for a connection with a place and its people that runs deeper than any tourist itinerary. Mindanao asks something of you folks. It asks you to shed your preconceptions, to open your heart and mind to a different way of seeing the world. It asks you to engage with its complexities, to acknowledge its challenges without letting them overshadow its beauty its warmth, its unwavering spirit. And if you're willing to answer that call, to embark on this journey with open eyes and an open heart, then Mindanao will reward you in ways you never thought possible. It will challenge your assumptions, broaden your horizons, and leave an imprint on your soul that will stay with you long after you've said goodbye. So, what are you waiting for, folks? The road less traveled awaits. Mindanao is calling. Will you answer? There's a spirit here in Mindanao, folks, a spirit that's both fierce and gentle, unyielding and welcoming. It's a spirit forged in adversity, sustained by hope. It's the spirit of the farmer tending to his crops, the fisherman casting his net at dawn. 
the teacher inspiring the next generation, the entrepreneur chasing a dream. It's the spirit of resilience, of community, of hope. And that spirit, folks, is contagious. Be prepared to encounter the Mindanao spirit. That's the Mindanao I've come to know and love, folks. And that's the Mindanao I invite you to discover for yourself.